Morning guys. Just getting my old steps in order. Three and a half stone now lost, I'm quite happy with that. Getting uh, that side of my life sorted, which is good, you know, at the end of the day. You gotta always look for the positives in life. And um, right now, the positives for me are oh, that I have a beautiful family. And I should be grateful and thankful for having an able body. Two arms, two legs, nothing to worry about. Everything is all bollocks. And nothing is real in the matrix, which is true. Nothing is real. The time, the date, even money, because money is not backed by anything. It's a promissory note, hence why the reason written across every banknote is I promise to pay the bearer because it's an IOU. You are the currency, but it is what it is. We live in a world where there's a differential between what is law and what is legal, uh, common law jurisdiction and statutory law, the law of the land, the law of the sea, the fact that we all follow the wrong fucker. But hey ho, it is what it is. And therefore the distraction of life as all, all roads lead to Rome is the very fact that Nothing upon nothing matters. Not really, at the end of the day. And you can't fucking change it. So, it is all about doing what is best for you at all times, for your family, and of course, having some fun in life. And part of that fun is supporting the fantastic and beautiful football club Chelsea FC. Right, one more lap to go and I'm done. I'm done. So, nothing really a report. And our first game, as you know, is Crystal Palace. I visit the Sellers on the first, and then, of course, a few days later. Um, actually, is it the, fir the first? Saturday be the first, Sunday be the second, Monday the third, Tuesday the fourth, Wednesday the fifth, fifth of October, and it's the visit of AC Milan. The game that we really do have to win. No two ways about that. Three points is massively important. And, uh, and then we follow that up with a, a trip to the San Siro, something which I did in 1999, and it was an absolutely fantastic trip, three days in Milan. It was just great, it really, really was. Eight and a half thousand Chelsea out there. I remember um, outside the cathedral in the, uh, the, the city square, all the Chelsea um, supporters and the sports bar just around the corner from that, absolutely rammed with Chelsea and all these Milan uh, supporters um, going around with their Vespers, you know, showing out their bits and pieces. And uh, it was really, really cool, really cool. Um, went out there a couple of days before and had a fantastic time. Went in a nightclub the, the night before and I've really, I'll never forget that. We went in and the music was absolutely pumping. And all you could hear was Gianfranco Zula, Gianfranco Zula. Chelsea in there en masse. And uh, it was really, really cool. And then suddenly the Milan Ultras turned up. But I'll never forget this guy. He turned up and he come up to me and he had his, oh, his eye hanging out. In fact, he had a, like a patch on one side and then his eye was on the opposite side and uh, the Milan derby um, their game against Inter was uh, a few days before that 
and uh, it obviously kicked off. This guy had literally come, you know, um, he was in, in the wars, so to speak, and he, he said to me, you know, he was fucking giving it large. And uh, needless to say, outside there was a bit of a fracas. But the Italians doing what they usually do, I'll leave it at that. And um, it was a really good trip, a really, really, really cool trip. I remember the day after flying back and literally having no voice whatsoever. Literally, I, 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 I couldn't speak. It was like that. It was absolutely horrendous um, because I've been screaming and shouting so much in, in the San Siro. And of course, we still sing the song today, don't we? About Dennis Wise. We scored a fucking great goal. And it was a fucking great goal. And it was a, a moment in time where you kind of felt that we made it, really, really made it. You know, big back in the big time. It was a long time ago, uh, you know, 23 years ago. Incredible, really, you know. Uh, I certainly was a lot, lot younger, a lot, lot younger. Um, and, um, yeah, you know, it was just such a great trip. And uh, I'm not going out to the, the Milan away game. As I say, I've done that before. But big up all the Chelsea that are going out there for that. They're going to have a wonderful time for sure. It is a great, beautiful city. Absolutely lovely city for so many reasons. Incredible um, ladies there, too. Just you know, just, just full of beauty, full stop. Like you know. So um, we have a, a little bit of news on the uh, on the director of football front, or at least we now know that uh, our guys left um, to move on to F1, and we seem to be bringing in the guy from Manchester City. Um, you know, it seems that there's change everywhere uh, under this Bowley Clear Lake Capital um, ownership, for sure. And, you know, we kind of expected it to be that way. There's a lot of talk recently, too, about name changes and um, was stuff which I think is more of a wind-up than anything else. But again, you wouldn't fucking rule it out with these people. And that is, um, what is it, London Cowboys, Chelsea FC. I don't fucking think so, do you? And we ain't gonna have that one. And in any case, I'm pretty sure that we own the naming rights of the football club as part and parcel of owning those Chelsea pitch owner shares. I'm pretty sure we have um, final say on that one. And whatever you say, about this new ownership, that is the one thing that they just can't um, put any um, pressure on because as Chelsea supporters, we're always going to want to uh, have the best for Chelsea Football Club. But there you go, guys. Um, Thomas Tuchel linked right now with uh, Bayern Munich. Uh, interesting developments there. You know, the very, very fact that... Um, a club like Bayern are interested in Thomas Tuchel, says it all. Listen, guys, we have the international break right now, which I don't know about you, I absolutely cannot stand. I just, just don't. It doesn't do anything for me whatsoever. I don't know, it's your country. And, of course, during World Cups and Euros, etc., I will follow England. Uh, and um, But not in the way that I did back in the... Years gone by, I did World Cups to Mexico and Italy, uh, Mexico 86, um, Italy, and loads of trips abroad with England back in the day, because, uh, you know, we used to go as a unit, i.e. Chelsea, and uh, some real incredible moments. But um, not for me these days, it doesn't appeal to me at all. And if anything, it just pisses me off because our players get injured as indeed, I believe, Christian Pulisic has um, with his uh, time away with the uh, United States. It's just no one benefits from it, you know. And uh, if you see yourself as a club man, first and foremost, then um, that sort of thing, you know, you always know international duty, all your players go out, you run the risk of issues like that. And... Um, 
you know, let's be honest, right? It's just it can really it can fuck you up, it can fuck your season up, right? You know. So uh, there we go, guys. As I say, you know, we're uh, waiting now for the football to return. As I say, um, we'll have to wait and see um, what happens um, with our trip to Palace. It's a stadium where we do really quite well, to be fair. They uh, absolutely annihilated them last season, smashed them. And of course, we beat them in the semi-final of the uh, FA Cup. But uh, it's a stadium where they do make a lot of noise, let's be fair. Uh, and um, well, listen, any game in the Premier, Premier League, you've got to be completely and utterly on your metal because uh, you can get done at any any particular moment, like right, you know. But it's three points that we're going to need, and more importantly, after that, it's that trip. Um, it's that game against Milan, and uh, really, really looking forward to that. I won't be at Palace, won't be at Sellers. It's one of those grounds which is a fucking nightmare to get to, to be fair. Um, I like the place, it's got a lot of character, to be fair, it's like, you know, very working class, I like it, you know, but um, there's a place to get to, it's just a fucking nightmare, and that's either by car or by, you know, train or whatever, uh, but I will be at the game against Milan, uh, so uh, I'll see you there, guys, and of course, I'll put something up before that particular moment. Anyway, guys... Much love, as always, and uh, up the chills.